Hello YouTube, Pipe Community. This here video is going to be entitled The Video Response to Padre Piper's Contest. Talked to Padre yesterday. It was good to hear from you, sir. I appreciate it. Uh, smoking the old corn cob today. The naked corn cob. It's an odd shape. It's uh, it was like a three dollar one at a gas station. I thought it was kind of neat. It called out to me. I know it's not a Missouri Meerschaum, which is what I prefer to have, but um, the cut was pretty cool and it was irresistible. So I bought it. Uh, what's in it? Boswell's Christmas cookie. I love that stuff. It's pretty good. Um, not one of my favorite blends of theirs, but I do enjoy it. So, uh, had to open my bottle of water. Okay, so Padre. What did we want to be when we were in high school? And what did we turn out to be? Very interesting question. And I have to say, a lot of the responses that you received were very interesting. They were pretty cool. Um, a lot of different scenarios that I didn't expect to hear. So, um, I have to say, uh, yesterday, um, the one with the teacher, I think it's Chad or Doug, I'm not sure, I forgot, sorry, I apologize, but it's awesome, wanted to be a rock star and turned out to be a teacher for his children, which is great, um, anybody that's willing to step up like that and help your children and see that they have a bright future, that's very commendable, I have to say that's probably one of my favorite ones that I've seen so far, Padre. So, in high school, coming out, I wanted to be a military man, believe it or not. Uh, I came from a smaller family as far as my mom and dad. Um, my dad came from a family of 16 children. That's right, 16. Um, my grandmother and grandfather had 14 boys and two girls. In amongst the 14 boys there was one set of twins, which would be my Uncle Albert and my Uncle Alvin. Um, the oldest child is still alive today, my Aunt Teddy. She's living in Chicago. Um, 90? 90 couple? But um, pretty awesome, you know, for that. But anyhow, out of the 14 boys, we had 12 serving in the military at one time. Um, of course, they were all over the world on all different kinds of ships. Uh, throughout the Navy and stuff like that, but um, growing up, I always seen them coming in, coming out. I always seen them in their uniforms, and I always thought that looked really nice. I mean, they always stood tall and yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, thank you, no, thank you. Hold the door for the ladies. Um, just, you know, tremendous. And uh, it was a real great role models for me growing up. And um, so I wanted to follow the family tradition and be a military man. Uh, That zipper just doesn't want to 
the breeze is coming in off the lake. It's uh, tearing me up here. I end up burning my hand and not lighting my pipe. Um, so I wanted to be a military man. Which branch did I want to be in? I was, definitely wanted to be a Marine. Um, they're the biggest, they're the baddest. They, uh, their uniforms are very sharp. And um, I just, I wanted to be a Marine in the worst way. Um, however, being born with a degenerative bone disease, which is an extremely rare uh, disease, it's on one of the, uh, it's on the rarest disease list. Um, it's common in boys between the ages of 10, 6 and 10, 8 and 12 maybe, something like that. I'm not exactly sure. And, uh, it basically affects my joints. So with that, obviously I couldn't physically do the job, so the military denied me, which led me to going to high school. And um, I always wanted to be a fireman as well. You know, where we lived, there was a firehouse close by, and they always blow by the house, and I always thought that was really awesome. And I told my buddies sometimes when I was a kid, I, you know, someday I'm going to ride that rig. We we'll ride that engine someday, and um, sure enough, after I graduated, uh, well, actually before I graduated, I joined the fire department as a volunteer, and um, I was able to give my community service through the volunteer fire department here in Pennsylvania. I was a fireman for 18 years um, until the uh, joint replacement started, and it just took a toll on my body, and I just couldn't do it anymore. So. I retired in 2008, um, but um, I loved it, still love it, it's a huge part of me, and uh, every time I hear a siren or something, my heart starts beating real fast, and you know, it's just, it's in my blood, but um, career-wise, I end up working in retail, I worked retail for 12 years, worked my way up literally from the bottom, I started out uh, helping out front, cart pushing, bagging groceries, all that good stuff. Worked my way up to being a, uh, a manager. And um, then I walked away from it and tried a little construction and that was, wasn't physically for me. So I ended up in a milk plant and uh, I worked for a milk plant company y'all might know, Lando Lakes. I uh, worked for them for eight years and uh, then, of course, more uh, disabilities, more uh, joint replacements and surgeries took toll on me, and I couldn't do the 12-hour shifts anymore, so I had to walk away from it. Um, not exactly what I wanted to do, but I really didn't have much of a choice when it comes to, uh, to that situation at hand. So, that's what I've done. Um, now, unfortunately, I'm a, un, un, uh, physically unable to work, so I'm on disability. Um, I try to help as much as I can around the house and help my wife, but um, the nice thing about that is, is at least when I do something, I can sit down when I need to, stand when I need to, and all that stuff, because I can't sit very long and I can't stand very long. It's uh, pretty rough, but overall I'm very blessed. I have a fantastic wife. I have a, uh, a healthy daughter who's 14 years old and um, a lot of great friends and family and uh, I'm truly blessed and now that I've been welcomed into the YouTube Pipe community, it's just broadened my family so much more and I want to thank you guys for that. But um, So that's it Padre, that's the best I can tell you. Is it a winning video? I don't think it is. But um, I appreciate the opportunity to get in front of the camera and uh, share a little bit of my story. And um, hopefully you guys see uh, worthy of me sitting down and taking your time up and viewing my videos and subscribing and liking my videos. 
I would greatly appreciate that. Um, until we get to pack a bowl or a pipe and enjoy another pipe together, as always, the way I end my videos now, from the first Corinthians, let all that you do be done from love. Thank you and God bless.